Hi, Igimo here. Welcome to my new City Skylines series. This is a first attempt at documenting my time within the game. I haven't been playing for very long, but I thought maybe I could impart some ideas into what works, what doesn't, and a lot of mistakes that I make along the way. A little bit about myself. I've always been fascinated by city builder games, starting way back with even the original SimCity. So, in case you haven't noticed, that dates me a little bit. I'm not your typical online gamer. I'm using this platform as a means to possibly document, you know, my adventures, you know, within my city building. I had some experiences in the last several months, you know, with cities I had been kind of tinkering with. Nothing very fancy, but just, you know, things I did to pass the time were basically they were, you know, they were good, but they were nothing all that spectacular. And to add insult to injury, having hardware problems, losing game files, files that became corrupted, all self-inflicted because I hadn't learned how to make backups of the City Skylines game files and that kind of stuff. It's just I decided, let's just kind of record these edit them, and then I'll have them forever. And it's kind of a, a reflection back onto my time within this, the game that I love so much. So if you'll sit back and join me, um, in the first episode today we'll be looking at r terraforming mostly and setting up our basic map and kind of coming up with some interesting features along the way. We started with a map called Gray Mountain off of the Steam Workshop. And I apologize, I don't remember who the author of it was. And what drew me to this map was I love the, the terrain differences and the elevations on those. But one of the problems that I had with this map, the way that it was currently made, was some of the very steep angles and cut lines that had existed where, where you see the water going through. And so I started kind of looking at playing with, you know, the basic tools of just bare bones city skylines, not a lot of mods, and some tools that I wish I would have realized early on. You may notice that we're doing some terraforming, playing with just the basic features of sloping in this particular video, and after a while, you know, a lot of footage I recorded, probably half hour for doing five minutes of just kind of playing around with it, kind of dawned on me that I wasn't doing it the right way. So I went and did a little bit of research, and found some mods that would help us out but for now we'll just kind of let you enjoy <laughs> I guess we'll say my stupidity at this point of not knowing what is out there um, one of the things I've learned as a as a new creator is that the Steam Workshop is an awesome place to look at but there's a lot of it's a little bit overwhelming if you don't know what you're looking for and those kind of things so as we establish this series I'll show you some of the mods that that, that I've kind of come across that I like to use to kind of help me with some of my some of my tactics. I'm not the fastest builder by any stretch of the imagination. Um, not compared to you know, some of the ones that I follow um, th over the years, you know, and been watching the Skyline videos um, from other creators, and there's some very talented individuals out there. Um, some of the ones I enjoy watching the most, just a little bit about me, I like um, $2.20, I love his series. Uh, Marble Mountain is fantastic. Um, Skibbit's Little Paris has got some amazing detail. And then, you know, Biff has always got some fun things that he's doing and, you know, a bunch of others. I'm not trying to drop names. The first person I started with was actually Imperial Jedi, so a shout out to you for kind of introducing me to it. I don't watch as much as I used to, but, you know, the things I learned and started seeing what you could do with the game drew me into some of the more detailed folks and some of the more artistic um, creators out there. So, like I say, if, this is about the point that I realized there's a better way to do this stuff. So, um, we switched over and I realized, well, let's go play with some of these editors that come with the game. I've never really gone in here and played with it and at the exact the same time I started doing that, I also installed the mod um, Extra Landscaping Tools and my life changed. I could do things on such a larger scale, a bigger area all at once, uh, making the cuts and just taking this Grey Mountain map as it was originally created and kind of smoothing it out a little bit and making it more... It's still mountainous and still has a lot of elevation changes, but it's a little bit more rolling and I think it will be a more buildable surface. I've always been drawn to places like, you know, Colorado 
and the mountains and this kind of the feel and the vibe of those and so that's what this series is going to be about um it's been a lot of time growing up um traveling to places like Estes Park up in the Rocky Mountain National Park in the United States and Colorado and it's just been fascinated with the, lay the layout and the feel and that's my what I'm going to attempt to do is try to recreate parts of that now obviously this is city skylines and I think doing a fully rural rustic kind of city might be a little bit of a stretch for me being a new developer but we're going to give it a try um, we'll have some you know some wilderness and some you know the old fishing holes, if you will, you know, the elevated lakes up in the mountains that turn into waterfalls going into the others. I'll you know, definitely decorate up the, the landscape quite a bit and even add some more some more details to those um, as well. Um, like I say, this is just the basic terraforming at this point and we'll hopefully make it a little bit more interesting and a little bit more pretty, so to say, I guess. Here we're playing with kind of setting up some of these lakes and some of the water mods and now before I started doing this, I had, ne I had never tried this before in the game, and so I was blown away with what you could do. You can see I make some mistakes. There's a big flat plateau that I kind of hit level ground instead of smoothing, so it took a little bit of work to get that rubbed out. But in the end, I think it turned out pretty good. So at this point, I think I'll kind of sit back and we'll, we'll go through the play, kind of let you look at what we're looking um, at going on and let you take a look and see how how things appear. So anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in and we'll be back in a little bit.
So here, if we look at Google Maps, kind of the area that's my influence for this is the Denver, Colorado area, which you can see right about here. So if I zoom in a little bit, you know, probably 75, 80 miles, I'm guessing, northwest of there, past Boulder, up into the area adjacent to the Rocky Mountain National Park is the area that I just absolutely love. And so it's very mountainous and very rugged and just an absolutely fascinating location. One of the things I like about it is kind of the convergence of all these major roads that come in. Now, none of these are interstates. They're not highways. They're very windy, two-lane type roads that come into you know, an absolute uh, touristy destination, if you will. Um, you can do things like horseback riding and fishing and those kind of things all up in this area, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. I feel like I should be working for like the tourism board for Estes Park. So, hey, there's a shout out for you. If you need somebody, let me know. I'm happy to do it. Um, but that's kind of the area that we're looking in. So it gives you kind of a sense of the terrain that we're looking at. This is the, the satellite image of that. And you can see that, you know, um, the, the Rocky Mountain National Park is here. The Continental Divide is coming up through this area. And it's, um, it's just absolutely, absolutely fascinating. If we zoom way down in there, you can really start to get kind of a sense of kind of uh, the layout and little lakes that exist kind of in the, in the middle of the, the middle of the town. And then, Take the road up into up into the mountains and up into the national park or these location things like fall river road and and those and roads that are open only part of the season you know because when it snows they become impassable just absolutely fascinating and that's kind of the look and the feel for what i'm hoping to accomplish with this video so with that i guess we'll wrap up this intro and give you a few parting screenshots of different views of the area that I find the most interesting, including a couple of waterfalls. Thank you for tuning in today, and if you have any comments or suggestions, please feel free to leave them down below. And um, if you like what you see, please give us a subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for coming out. We'll talk to you all soon. Bye.